Hold on. We in the swans, we in the pine, we don't say nothing ever long, you know. We in the swans right now. Mad swan, you know, it's the bird game, it's the pine, it's the set. Oh, yeah, it's only the strong survive off this bitch. You gotta be strong to survive. If you ain't strong, you gonna get ate up and drown in this bitch, no cap for real. All type of crazy shit going on. People getting killed, you know, getting book robbed, all type of shit, you know, all type of shit going up off this bitch. Pros and cons to it depend on you and your person. You just gotta think about yourself every day. You know, what it takes for you to be successful. You make it. That shit don't make you. You could be a school nigga, play baseball. Then you make it to the major league, chunk up the hood. There you go. Y'all was into the sports and shit growing up? No, nah, I mean, my mama couldn't afford that shit. I wanted to, but I was already juvenile hall and shit like that. But for the niggas that can do that shit, that shit fun. It helped with aggression and all type of shit. It's good for you, it helps. So all that built up energy you got, you putting into something that's working. Cause when you make it, it ain't just you, it's your peoples and who you fuck with. It's all, this shit always gonna be here, different generations and shit like that, it ain't going nowhere. It's all about you, what you do with it, or you get left behind, that's it. I'm my mama, that's about it. Brothers in jail, daddy gone, regular shit. So I ain't trying to get on here, it's the homie podcast, but to, uh, this for the whole section. This for the section. What I can say is I love my section and I love my real homies. Cause when a nigga ain't had nobody, cause my mama, you know, it's only so much she can do. Nigga gotta learn that I'm a grown ass man before I'm a grown ass man. You can grow up early. So my homies, it's like, yeah, niggas gonna fight them niggas, get into it sometimes, if that. But when that love came, it was real love, authentic love. Feel me? So nigga don't see that too many places, all type of hoods, all type of people. Not to say a nigga beats me anywhere else is worse though. I'm saying it, but nigga love my homies and I love my area. You know, when you, when you from that struggle and y'all growing up together, then it, 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 it's different, you feel me? Like, there's pros and cons with it. Like, you know, you love your niggas, y'all be happy partying, and then it be some time where shit go left. But it, that's why I said it's pros and cons. If it was me, I'll do it all over again, it's just, the times I had where everybody was still together, 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 I just would've enjoyed it more. Only thing that ain't accurate is that when they nigga get all them chances in the line, ain't no, it's real, ain't no movie. That's the only thing that's different about it. Some niggas see movies and feel like I could, I could do that and you know, whoop, no, nah, ain't no stunt doubles and take fives and none of that. Once it's over, it's over. But when I first came outside, before I even came outside, I was hit hearing gunshots and shooting, I was a little boy. House is getting shot up, bullets flying, people run through the house, shit going on, people getting chased by police, run through my house. I was a little nigga seeing that shit. They was running so through your I house and shit? Real. They ran through your house? Yeah, gang, I used to be right here on Saturday night in between on, on McKinley, it used to be some, I'm telling you over there, buddy. It used to be some shit all the time going around my house. I was a little boy. It was always drug, all type of shit. Police pulling up, running, chasing niggas, gunshots fired, all type of shit going on as a kid. Before I even came outside, I was already shit seeing that. So I was, it was already overwhelming nigga as a baby. So once I came outside and figured everything out, I was like, whoa, this shit really like, like damn, this is all the real, but What's the T? Tea? T tea, man, nigga just put on that in the back. Come on on, get your little three man, four man, however you want it. One of them Ricky Alleys. <laughs> ain't none of them Ricky Alleys, you bust a shot back. You know? <laughs> Come back. Ain't no Ricky going on. That's game. He <laughs> let that thing go. The blood is from up out of here, man. I've been in jail the majority of my life. And that blood in jail. <laughs> One. When you fang up, fuck around. You just grew up with kids, man. We just separated. You feel me? The only got real just for me for it to come back on me. Like 16. That's it. It's like every generation gonna go through it unless you're not around or niggas don't wanna do it. You feel me? But if it's going on, it's going on. So as far as me coming out the door and it's on me, like nigga, I'm not, my, like it ain't like my brothers and shit, it's me now, 15, 16 on up. If you don't mind me asking, what was you doing at the time? Shit, I wasn't going to school, so a little bit of everything. Just, you know, but mainly like shit to get money. You know, at that age, nigga, my brother's telling me to get money. All that extra other shit, it's like, nigga, you, you gonna do that because you got to. So they went on some like, you know, it was just it was just get some money, you know. Nigga don't want to see his mama struggling. Not to mention that, nigga, I like bitches. So if Jordans ain't right, you bitches on the west side gonna be on you. Oh, you a dirty ass east side, nigga. Come on, bitch, stop playing with me. <laughs> so nigga gotta get some money. 
I want to put money in my mom's pocket. So that's what, what I was on, trying to learn how to make money. But I was so young, you can't go get no job. Or you can, let me take that back. You niggas can. Tell, go to school, have your school, fill it out, then tell your moms or whoever your guardian is. I thought I couldn't get no job. So it went from shooting dice, selling gummy worms like Kool-Aid and shit at school to breaking in houses and uh, shit like that. So that shit though, it wasn't too much of nothing. I'm only 21, so it ain't been that long. My address changed. When I start going places with family members, because when I own my family, it's like you could you could live somewhere, but to, to actually press that shit and sign up for it, it's, it's a different type of uh type of outlook on shit. So you have you have somebody come out there fucking right now, but you know everybody up in there play the games, run around shooting nerf guns and shit. And then you have somebody live like just a block over. Every time they come out, it's something that's really on them, you know. Hey, we big. Come on, we big. <laughs> uh, we're all the way to Bentro, you feel me? 92nd in Florence, bro. We big, so we got plenty blocks to hit. It's all about how much can you record. Shit, I, I'm here with y'all, <laughs> fuck it. It's big. Cold E, got worry about crash, all that. Enemies. Niggas just know, man. <laughs> I'm out here. Hey, you started going outside, started getting affiliated with the shit. Feel me? Now he's young, but for me, doing the young though. That's when y'all got put on and shit. Yeah, I've been claiming that up for a minute. You feel me? Nigga been claiming that since a baby. So, feel me? That's just how this shit go. When my brother went to jail, cause he 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 kept me from the shit, and that's baby Jack. Yeah, they uh, that's when it started changing, cause. I had to start coming up with money. I had to like teach myself. You know, you're in jail, you only get a certain amount of phone calls. I, I really couldn't, I didn't have enough money to be keeping on my phone and shit. He just had his son. So shit like that, brother went to jail. Like when my dad died, it just fucked me up. When my brother went to jail, that's when shit started getting real. I didn't have that, that backbone support. Like I had it, but when he not there in a the physical form, it's different. You don't see that nigga no more. You think that played a part to why you Got into the gang shit too. Hell no, my daddy yeah, not him. What that blood? I was, I was gonna do it regardless. Now what I can say, it well yeah, because I feel like if he would have stayed out, and I would have just been able to see him more, so it can help a nigga grieve with that shit. Then yeah, but because he he left, and then my dad left, not even a year before that nigga left, two years before that nigga left, I was like, I was like out of here. So it's like you lost two male role models at the two same time. Two male role models plus my mama struggling, and you feel me? So it's like as a young, 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 as a young male, I couldn't, I could see it, but I didn't realize what I was seeing watching my mama struggle. It's just I always had like a natural, like down ass feeling. I didn't start feeling good until I was able to do something for myself. 37th Street, last name to your kids. Six wicked ass niggas, feel me? Don't kill us. Cause it's like, they can't, people, they can't tell a nigga like, oh yeah man, peace, but like, if some nigga trying to hear that shit, but then nigga like, how you gonna tell a nigga to be cool if nigga already got a homie resting over something? Nigga, when nigga be cool, bring nigga homie back, and that ain't gonna happen, ain't no magic, so until then, nigga gotta just go with the protocol, what's going on? Yeah, cause it's like, they can't, people, they can't tell a nigga like, oh yeah man, peace, but like, some nigga trying to hear that shit. But the nigga like, how you gonna tell a nigga to be cool if nigga already got a homie resting over something? Nigga, when nigga be cool, bring nigga homie back, and that ain't gonna happen, ain't no magic. So until then, nigga gotta just go with the protocol. What's going on? And so many people in LA get drawn to the streets. Might have not had the love at home, or they might be on money, or they just, nigga, some of them niggas be just crazy. I don't be in the streets. Some of these wanna just, just wanna, just wanna do it in their life, just, just take it off their bucket list, type of bucket list thing. Some niggas is born in this shit. Uh, different gang of motherfuckers. More likely, there's no love in the house. Niggas want some money. Or it just. What was, what was it for you? Money. I had the love. I had the family to care of me, everything, but it just. I wanted my own money. I wanted my own dough, though. Yeah. I'm not just me seeing this what's going on in the streets and shit. Fuck, I gotta what's do up? certain things to get some money, so fuck it. Yeah, no, all right there, boy. We, we trying to get up on the niggas. We did the best we had a, a, a razor. There's been razors going up, phone razors. So we patting him down, whoop. 
the sheriff put right behind the nigga. As we pat him down, the police put right behind the nigga. So we scatter. Boom. Police jump out. Come on, said, don't run. We gonna shoot you. We still running. The nigga throw the flashlight. Boom. The nigga in the back with the flashlight hit the gate. Boom. We fly out the gate. We get little. We, 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 we go separate ways. My boy going to the car. I, I thought he fell and died or something. Going to the car, just disappeared. I said, damn. I thought he was gonna die or something. So I got high. I'm like, damn. I'm in the backyard for like 30 minutes. Like, what am I gonna do? Somebody they have some clothes on clothes on for peoples. I put the clothes on with some little bitty ass shit. I put that shit on. Change my outfit with a little ass clothes, like a little like some, some shit you would have to speak, like some, some, some pants and shorts that was so little. I put this shit on got the walking on the street. Nigga was about 50 cops lined up from nigga from damn near from San Pedro all the way to motherfucking central trying to find me. I walk past all of them with the tidy whities on belly. Or if you're gonna be out here in the streets, you gotta make sure you're doing it right. If you ain't doing it right. You gonna get ate up out here. You gonna smoke and go to jail for the rest of your life. It's a fact. And once you get smoked, you're done. And once you get life, you're done. Nobody give a fuck about a nigga that got in jail. They wanna hear that shit. Yeah, people gonna love you based on if it's genuine love, but not everybody. Everybody got a life though. Niggas ain't gonna stand there with you for 500 years, nigga. You ain't even gonna stand yourself 500 years. They get them numbers they give a nigga. 125 years to life. Who the fuck gonna stand <laughs> around with you for that long? And you in there doing what? You got a whole life to live out here. Miles to feed. So they gotta do it right, you feel me? Damn, stack that chip up, you never know. That's when it's gonna get bad, you gotta stack that money for a rainy day. Out here, it's like with the rain. Every goddamn day out here, going up out here in the east side of LA, the, when the world, period. The whole motherfucking world is crazy. Get ate up right here, for sure, for sure. Come over here, we want some tough shit, we would in. Get kicked in the ass, get wedgie, slapped off the back of the head. Boom, all will chasing chase nigga down. and drug, is a drug out their house. There's a nigga named Pierre. Hey, on my thing on. Nigga got drugged, nigga, bitch ass nigga got drugged out of his house. Remember uh, the, the, the Pierre? Nigga drugged Pierre up out of his house? This nigga, from seven, from seven on Swan for a minute, he was hanging with the other side niggas. Like, the whole, niggas I was a little bald down nigga, I seen the whole nigga, everything that happened. He was over there thinking he cool. They ran up in the nigga house and snatched him out the house. He gonna turn the other side, really start banging the other side. Now he a dope, he's crystal meth, and you, you, you see him stuck on the tree. But I just saying the mind frame, you have to have a strong mind to really survive over here. You have to have a strong mind. You claim yourself, I'm 13 years old, I just not 13, 14. At 13, 14, you didn't have no mind frame or know what you were doing. Now a grown man doing this, you know what this shit is going to come with. You pull that trigger or they're going to hit a lick or do this. You know what this shit come with. A life sentence or a long time in jail. As a kid, all we thought about was, oh, it's a camp program. I was hitting licks, that came up for God, I didn't give a fuck about nothing. I was, didn't care. All I thought about it was, I'm going to camp for six, nine, or 12 months. Worst case scenario, I go to Hawaii. Six years, shit, I'll be back. Now the adult, these niggas are, this certain nigga know what that shit about, but they, yeah, man, who, but they ain't, on, kicking them, ain't taking no risk because you know what it comes with. So I don't, so I don't care about what niggas say, I didn't know I was 12 years old, 13 years old. At 13, you know who you was as a man. Hold on. You know, I just ain't nothing glorious. Just bunk ass robbery trying to get a kid robbing over and wanting some money. I don't think she shoot getting shot and shot at is funny. I ain't gonna lie. He, he definitely is a different type of person. That, that, shit is, that shit excite me. That shit excite me because I, I like the adrenaline. Yeah. I, I'm afraid of heights, bro. I'm afraid of heights. So I get it. I get I adrenaline rush from, from other shit like, Look, like that. Like, I was a young I'm like 16, 17. You, you know, I put my camp program. This is one of my cases too when I went to camp juvenile hall. I'm right here on uh, say 9th and Town. It's me, my nigga Bala from 39th Street, it's my boy. Hey, Trevor, 30 power, who is this? 